Now today I'm gonna check the last of my kimchi bottles with Mesotopus Tarondus. Um, one of the larvae already emerged as a female 14th of March this year. That was three months ago. Now today is the 14th of June and I have seen that in this bottle um, the pupil chamber is disturbed so it's a sign that um, the beetle is ready to come out or is already out and I have to check the bottle and to open it and if we are lucky it's a male because I only have these two larvae and if it's not a male it will be very difficult uh, to go on with the breeding process because um, in Europe it's hard to find the Mesotopus Tarandus male just within a week or two so let's have a look what it is um, it's a kimchi from Gonoderma lucidum it's this um, uh, mushroom that is also well known in Europe but it's mainly known as a medicine in Asian countries so that's a special kind of uh, mushroom to breed Mesotopus tarandus. Now here is a piece of of the head capsule of the larvae, probably from the from the skin of the larvae. And yes, here we see the the animal down there in the in the. And I think we are lucky. I think we are lucky. I think we are lucky. Yes, we are. It's a male. It's a fantastic beautiful male of Mesotopus Torondus. Look at this beautiful animal. Mesotopus Torondus from Africa. A beautiful shiny black animal. It's not yet quite that shiny black. It has a little red part down here so it's not yet finished um, with the hardening process of the of the skin but it's a very nice um, male it's not a big monster but it's nice because it's a male and we have now a partner for our lady so let's have a look whether the lady is still living I put some uh, if she should be in here and if we are lucky she's still alive yes she is that's the lady here you see her now she's running out of course she's not very interested to be taken out of her cage but that's now a nice a nice thing that we have a, a new pair of Mesotopus Tarandus it's a second generation now these two larvae I got from Benjamin Horink um, he managed to uh, bring a female to oviposition in Raishi, Ganoderma, Lucidum, Raishi, Kinchi. So now we will of course try to uh, put these, these two together in a box. Here, here's the male again. In a box where they can uh, mate and probably uh, the lady can lay their eggs again in Ganoderma lucidum kinchi so we will try this I'm very happy to find this um, a male because I wasn't sure whether it's a male or not now it's chewing and biting into this piece of wood because it's a bit angry probably that I have wetted it so much so look at this nice a beetle from Africa I think it's one of the biggest uh, stag beetles uh, of Africa it is said that it's not easy to breed and that's probably true because um, it's a bit picky when it comes to the right mushroom on the right piece of wood for the egg laying process I think that it was no problem for me to bring it up the larvae in these kimchi uh, bottles I presented only two of these bottles to the larvae till it uh, came out like uh, like this so um, it's not a big thing after you managed uh, to bring the lady to lay their eggs in the right kimchi. It's probably easy um, 
to reproduce. Thanks for watching.